What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, we're back with another One Piece chapter review, discussion, whatever you guys want to, you know, call it. And the one thing I wanted to sit back and talk about the most was Yamato. Because even though I don't think they really, sp well, I guess we'll say, didn't really talk about her sexuality, I guess somebody just assumed that she was gay because on twitter i seen some this guy i'm not gonna put his twitter handle out there because this is getting him clout was he said that he was gonna stop watching one piece because of the reading and watching one piece due to the fact that the creator who is oda keeps having these lgbtq representatives in there and i'm like i haven't really seen that many to be completely honest with you and if there is them if there is there I really just don't pay it no mind because your one piece is just a weird anime altogether. So if they were, I didn't pay it no mind. I felt like it's just normal for one piece because no one piece is weird. Always has been weird. Now, there has been two representatives in the whole Wano arc. Now we got Yamato and I don't even think Yamato is a lesbian at all. I just know that she dresses like a like a male because of the fact that her uh, idol is one of the men that Kaido killed. And the one thing that I, I kind of got out of that is she wants to be like him. So, of course, she's going to dress like him, but she can't be like him. Now, of course, Kaido was upset about that. And I think he tried to lock her away, but clearly it didn't work because, you know, she got these shackles still on her and stuff, but it's not working. But my main thing is this. I don't think her sexuality came out just yet. I don't think she came out at all. I just we are all we know now is just that his so-called son it's really a daughter and his so-called son is a huge fan of one of his rivals that he killed back in the day and this whole she represents the lgbtq community has not been said yet now my center is saying that if she is representing them it's a bad thing because it's not it's not it don't matter to me if 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 she is or if she isn't the thing that i was getting at is the fact that people shouldn't be trying to bash everything bash you know certain series just because they wanted to bring an lgbtq community you no know, member it's not that deep y'all it's, it's really not that deep I'm like y'all think that they're gonna be trying to have sex on page or on screen it's like no i mean really their sexuality doesn't really do much for the story they just let you know that a i like women or a i like men it's just how the story goes i mean i want to say how the story goes but that's just something they want to throw out there because like earlier in the Wano arc, or in the actually in the anime, not too long, when they first pulled up to Wano, one of the women that I thought was a female is actually a male. They call him the most beautiful or the prettiest male in all of Wano. So it's like that threw me off because I did not know that was a male. Like I had watched a, a video on YouTube talking about the characters, and when they brought that said character up, I'm like, oh, that's a dude. You can never know because it dresses like a female, looks like a female. So we got to we just pay it no mind, man. I'm just like some of that stuff is just like y'all cry about. It's really not that serious. And it's like, just leave it be. It's just like it's not hurting nobody. It's not doing anything to change the story. And it's just probably might make the story better. I don't know. I mean, like I said, Luffy doesn't even have a love interest. So does it really matter? The main character doesn't even have a love interest. So we don't know if Luffy's not straight. Because he really don't really pursue no coochie. So, I mean, it is what it is. Just leave it like it is. But like I said, we're back with this review. Because things are starting to heat up. Like, really, really starting to heat up. We finally get to know what Kaido's true plans are. And his true plans are, one, he killed Orochi. And, you know, Orochi's devil fruit is he's pretty much a Hydra. And you know the saying of Hydra. Well, if you don't know the saying of Hydra, then where have you been for these past 10 years with the Marvel movies? Because, you know, Hydra did play a part in Captain America's movies. And everybody knows the saying, when you cut one head off, two grow in its place. Hell, Hydra. That's what a Hydra is. That's what Orochi is. That's what his devil fruit is. So Kaido decided to off him right then and there, cut his head off, smooth off his shoulders. Because he's probably like, all right, I don't need you no more. Because he really don't. And he, to be honest with you, he really didn't need Orochi. But for some reason, I, I just thought he didn't. He don't need Orochi. I mean, you're freaking Kaido. You can turn into a fucking dragon. 
you got the beast pirates do you really need this clown so i don't think roach is dead though like i said hydra two heads he probably might grow a second head but they stick out momosuke he's being tortured look like he's about to be executed might get executed just like um the said hero that i was talking about earlier and it's it's I'd say that they are starting to drag this out a little bit. I'm like, can we just get to the parts where y'all start fighting now? Because everybody's starting to... I went, okay, I'll put it like this. I think the fight's about to start. Like, who the matchups is starting to be made, all that stuff. Because we do see the, you know, the scavers outside. They're fighting... Um, oh, I forgot his name. He betrayed them and showed that he was really not with them the whole time. And he's the reason why Momosuke is being tied up and get ready to be executed but another cool thing that i did like about this chapter was the dude that put on his little shogun mask and it, i don't know why it may reminded me of yoshimitsu from tekken and it reminded me a lot of yoshimitsu from tekken and i was like i, I, I like that it was it was pretty cool but the one thing that everybody paid attention to when it came down to this whole chapter was the fact the matter of what kaido wants to do I always thought Kaido wanted to die. Like, I thought he wanted somebody to come along and kill him. Because he keeps jumping off. He jumped off that island, Sky Island, and tried to kill himself. We all know that he's been captured multiple times. Been set to be executed multiple times. Try to get executed, doesn't die. So, it's like, damn, this dude. So, he's pretty much immortal. I wouldn't say he's immortal. He just can't be killed. And I'm like, is there a special way for him to die? Maybe his daughter knows. And I'm pretty sure some of the beast pirates might know maybe black bear might know maybe big mom might know oh and as a, as he cuts off you know orochi's head big mom's also there too laughing she got her memory back so all the fans that are watching the anime and see that she doesn't have her memory she she gets her memory back so be prepared for that that dumb shit but as we see he brought up the seven warlords and how the seven warlords are no more how they are you know pretty much done so you know Don, Delphi, Don Flamingo, prison. Um, I forgot the rest of the warlords. Oh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Boa Hancock. Um, homeboy, the vampire looking dude. Like I said, there's been so many characters. You tend to forget characters, so bear with me. But vampire guy, he got beat up by Black uh, Blackbeard. And I think he's about to become one of his pirates or they're just going to keep hostage of him, keep hostage of him or take his devil fruit. Nine times out of ten, they're going to take that devil fruit he is. Um, there's more warlords. I can't think of them all right now, but the main ones I can sit there and say there. Oh, um, Crocodile, he's one. But, you know, the major ones you might have done seen that they knew that the Marines had disbanded the whole Seven Warlords program. So, and everybody knows that Seven Warlords were one of the main reasons why the world was, you know, the way it was. You know, they're trying to keep things afloat. You know, Dofi was, you know, the guy that did the smile fruits, the artificial smile fruits, which I'm going to do a video about soon because I think we need to talk about those because I do not understand the motherfuckers for shit. Um... But yeah, when you got the Seven Warlords, then you got the Supernovas, which is like Law, Luffy, Eustace, Hawkins, X-Drake, you know, all those guys. But he wasn't talking about them. He's saying, since they're not around, Chaos is going to be thrown. And I'm like, Chaos was already thrown into the world, bro. Dofi was not giving two fucks about what was going on. Like, do y'all really think he gave a, he really gave a fuck? No, he didn't. And he was just doing what Dofi wanted to do. So Seven Warlords was pretty much... Oh, Mihawk was one too. Mihawk is one as well. But like, it, it seems that, you know, since they've been disbanded and people are coming for them because they're now wanted criminals because actually they're all pirates and they're all somewhat criminals. But I highly doubt they want to throw hands with Mihawk. But back to what Kaido was saying. Kaido was talking about one, he wants to find one piece. They started talking about the very most powerful weapons like Uranus, Pluto, um, Neptune, Everybody knows that Neptune is a princess mermaid. So I'm like, because she controls these sea kings. And I want to see how she, how that works with her. Because when you hear about all the other weapons, you think that, you know, they're actually freaking weapons. But now that we actually got to see what Neptune was, I want to know how, how as a weapon, how does she work? How does, how does that, how does that work with her? But besides that, he's saying that they're pretty much about to declare war. But I'm like, didn't he declare war like not too long ago? Hasn't he been to said that already? You know, he wants it to be pretty much survival of the fittest. 
he wants to be the top dog, but he wants to be survivor of the fittest. So it was like, if you're an X-Men fan, I'm throwing so many, you know, I'm referring to a lot of other media that ain't anime. But if you ever, if you ever been an X-Men fan, you read the comics, you know, Apocalypse. He's all about the survival of the fittest. You know, if you're weak, you're going to die. If you're strong, you're going to survive until somebody else comes along and stronger than you and kills you. So that's what Kaido's all about. But I don't think Big Mom is going to be, you know, she's not with that. Because you also got to understand, too, her pirates are also on the way. Her millions and millions of kids. Remember, she's super thought. If, if there was a thought army, she'd be you know, captain of it because she mega thought like super duper duper thought like you can't have as many kids and not be called a thought like for real but at the end of it oh she I, I think they're both on the same page but at the same time they're not on the same page big mom and kaido i swear to god i swear i think they have a child together but because these are two big motherfuckers and if you go back to the past and you see how well big mom's different because we actually got to see her past you know, brought to life, more about to an, brought to animation and anime. So she was big her whole life. But Kaido, on the other hand, I don't think we really got to see his past brought to, you know, animation yet, or I don't think to the pages yet. But I, hopefully we do, because I really want to see what he looked like when he was younger and did he have his devil fruit at that time or not. And was he always called the strongest creature? Because that's, that's his name, strongest creature. So that's pretty much how it ends. Oh, wait, take that back. It's not how that cha chapter ends. The chapter ends like this. He is going to turn Wano into something brand. He's going to take over Wano, and he's going to make it in a way that he wants to make it. He wants to turn the whole Wano um, country, I think it's a country or a continent or whatever, into an image that he wants, his vision. And Yamato was going to be the shogun of a certain part of the that part of Wano. And when Yamato was hearing that, she wanted to throw hands. Like, oh, hell no, I'm not about to do that. Got me fucked up. And Luffy, on the other hand, is like, hey, what's the quickest way to get to Momosuke? Because he sees that Momosuke is about to get killed. So that's pretty much how the chapter ends. Honestly, I wish they would just get to the fights. Because I really, 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 really wanted to see Sanji fight i really want to see sanji in his power ranger germa germa 66 uniform because it's dope he got the best one out of all of them and i keep forgetting that the germa germa whatever they call themselves are bad guys i'd be like they're bad guys really i thought they were good guys i always thought they were good guys but they're not and he'd probably be the only person that's good at all of, them, of course like i said surprise matchups i want to see zoro go one-on-one -on -one with either X Drake or Mihawk, or not Mihawk, oh, Hawkins. Um, I can't forget about the Toby Ropo. Toby Ropo, they're gonna be out there trying to cause some damage as well too. So honestly, it's it, it's a lot. This chapter is gonna be, it was, a good, it was a good chapter. I know I'm stuttering guys, cause I'm getting this chapter review out the way, but also trying to watch this last season of Fairy Tale. I finally found it in English, so I'm gonna watch it in English, but be looking forward to the Black Clover um, manga review tomorrow or when I'm done making this video and stuff. So, but other than that, guys, that's all I got for y'all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to ask y'all the question of the video because, like I said, these videos are just off the top of the dome. Open discussion for anybody and, anybody and everybody that loves One Piece. What do you think Yamato's, Yamato's devil fruit power is if she has one? Do you think she has the same type of power as her father? Do you think she could turn into a dragon? Do you think she could turn into another mythical zone fruit type animal? Do you think she could turn into like a dinosaur or something? I don't know. I hope she could turn into a dragon though. And I hope her dragon is just like her father's dragon. And I hope she does join the uh, Straw Hat Pirates because she did ask, would you, ask Luffy, would you let me be on your ship? Which is me, me taking in the heart that, that she wants to be part of the, the uh, Straw Hats. And that would be cool. That would actually really be cool. Because, you know, Luffy does let a lot of... I, I think the last person they let be part of the Straw Hats, I think it is Carrot. If she's even part of them. It's kind of hard to tell who's part of the, uh, the Straw Hats and who isn't. Besides, you know, the main ones that we know of. But like I said, guys, that's all I got for y'all. Take care. Peace.